it's 55. We are going to try the code for express.js session and uh, use file storage for session date. We are going to use session for our express.js web application and we are going to save session date to local files compared to memory session or database session backend. This should be easy enough and uh, serve as a good start point. The main purpose is not to give production ready codes. The main purpose is to review code and uh, play with it. The software versions we are using Node version. Zero point ten point twenty two. The version of Express and Node used is a little bit old. Node got a big version change recently. I haven't updated to the newest version, but the most content should not be affected. We are not going to try the newest features of Node or Express. I have put my code into GitHub repository. We run the code first. We are debugging, so we load app into node shell. And uh, it starts to listening to part 3300. Then we go to browser, ask for the page localhost uh, headers. This page should return us a JSON, shows the header of the request. It's expected to see the session ID in the header. If it's the first time the page shown, it will not contain the session ID information because it has not been set yet. Refreshing the page, then we can find it, the session ID. We do get the session ID in our web page. Then we return to code. It's basically an Express.js web application framework. We got apps and a few other files uh, doing session and uh, the session storage. In the app.js, we set up the application assign it to variable app. At last, we let app listen to the port number 3300. At the beginning of the app script, we require some modules, including a price and other useful modules. We need the cookie parser and body parser. It's for cookie and uh, session things. The Unicode is required. We use it as uh, tools for many purposes. Because we are going to load the code into the node shell, it might not have DRR name. So if we haven't the variable DRR name, we will define it by ourselves, by hand. Set up secret for cookie setting and uh, session setting. 
This is the session part. We do the session in another file. Here, we prepare session middleware and use the middleware. We put a watcher middleware here to watch what happened uh, for the request and the response and use the watch. At last, we let the uh, app listen to the port number 3300. How we prepare the session Basically, we prepare the options for the session. We have a file, file style. We know the file style. The file style is prepared in another file. The code is copied from the project I copy code here because we need to modify it so we didn't include in our dependence as normal as normal express project I put a link here. It's Valerie Barry Sock Session File Style. Valerie Barry Sock is the author of the module. What I changed is I make it check if we have the folder. If folder exists, we do nothing. Else, we are going to make DRR, make the folder, prepare the folder for our session date. And let's see what happened in Let's see what happened uh, in the folder. We should get some files containing session date. Yes, we have it. Let's check the file content. It's a session date. Basically, it's a cookie uh, contain expires original max age HTTP only and some options the file name is the file name contains the session ID so it's running we set up a express application mm, configure it your session functionality and uh, we configure the session use another backend storage instead of out of box mm, memory session style and also by using the file storage we avoid the business of setting up database backend for the session dates so it can be convenient to test something about the uh, session and its uh, st data storage. I'm going to dig deeper into the code if I have time later. Right now, we have the code is running and uh, mm, 
supposedly most of the code is correct. Okay, thank you for watching.